Good morning, beautiful people of the world. Good morning. How are you today on Wednesday, June? Oh, God, I can't even, I don't even know what day it is. Um, is it June 25th? I think it's June 25th. Anyway, good morning. I hope you all are doing well today. My, um, my check engine light is back on and the mechanic who's supposed to work on the car told me to call to find out about a pedal sensor throttle and I did and now they're saying they don't when I call AutoZone they said that they didn't think that that's what the problem is so I, I don't know what to do I'm just going to have to wait for him to come and I'm just going to have to wait I'm going to have to wait for him to come and look at it to tell me what's really wrong with it. Because I really don't know what's wrong with it, you know. Um, he's saying that, I, I don't know. I, I just don't even believe that that's it. I think it's something else. But when I took it up here to this Midas, they, they put the thing on there and said that it was that. And they said that it's something else. And... You know, I don't know. I just don't know. So I'm just going to have to wait. He was supposed to come back last night, and he had five cars to work on. So he just couldn't get to me. And then he was going to put some brakes on one car and come up and see me. But it was getting late. And then it started raining. So y'all, again, back on here again, saying, just pray for me that, um, that this just <sighs> that, I don't know I just don't know I just had a really bad day yesterday as you all know if you all looked at that video from Monday you know the situation with Chris you know that bothers me to the max you know um, it really, really just bothered me. You know, it just really, really, it just really bothers me. And I'm trying to just release that. And, you know, I just feel like that just should not have even happened. None of it should have happened. None of it should have happened with um, him, you know, to see him and then not coming through and then the mom the situation with his mom you know it just it, you know he kicked this whole shit off just to disappoint this boy all over again and it is just bothering me and it's nothing that I can do about it you know what I'm saying and it's a hard it's a hard it's it's hard to it's just hard to um it's hard to get past this because I just want to just knock the fuck out of him for real. And I know he, before you all say, oh, he ain't worth it. I know he not. But you know what? It's just like leave him alone. You know, if you don't really want to be in his life, just leave this boy alone. You know, let, let, you know, my girlfriend was saying last night, she was like, you know, Chris just got to get past it. And I said, he does. But when you're when you have never seen somebody that you know is alive and well and nothing is wrong with them, they not in jail, they not in a, a, a facility where they can't walk or they they, they they incapacitated and he's walking around living his best life, laid up with his woman. I don't care what he do. You know what I'm saying? Do your thing. But when you know that your father is alive and well and nothing is physically wrong with him, nothing is wrong with him, you know what I'm saying? It's like, it's like, as a kid, I can just, I, you know, it's hard for us to process things as adults and we're grown. But when you're 16 and you don't really understand about the world, I'm sorry, y'all. Y'all don't you don't really understand about the world when you don't really understand how to process things or your feelings or whatever. 
I, I'm a, I can only imagine that that's difficult for him, you know? And so it's easy for us to say, oh, Chris, just get past it. Oh, you know, Chris, just, you know, go on, you know, with life or whatever. There's a big chunk of his life missing. And he's the missing puzzle to his life, you know? And, and so, you know, he the missing puzzle. And 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 that, it it bothers me. It bothers me a lot. And it bothers him, you know. And it's like there's no reason. There's no reason for you not to be in this life. There's no reason. I don't care if you don't like me or you can't stand me. I don't like you either. But you know, I I haven't stopped being a parent. I haven't stopped loving my child because of you. You know, I'm a parent. Regardless of who I had a child by, I'm still a parent. I still have a child to parent. I still, he's only 16. He's got a lot more guidance that he needs. He's 16. You know, I'm 54 and I need guidance on, on things. You know what I'm saying? I need guidance, but I know how to deal with my emotions because I've had things to happen in my life. He ain't had that, you know? Um, so I'm just pissed about it. I, I'm not as pissed. I'm not as upset. Yesterday, I just cried all day long. You know, I just cried all day. And I just, I'm frustrated. I'm so frustrated right now. You know, I'm just so frustrated. You know.
mechanic who's supposed to work on the car told me to call to find out about a pedal sensor throttle and I did and now they're saying they don't when I called AutoZone they said that they didn't think that that's what the problem is so I, I don't know what to do I'm just going to have to wait for him to come and I'm just going to have to wait I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to wait for him to come and look at it to tell me what's really wrong with it. Because I really don't know what's wrong with it, you know? Um, he's saying that, I, I don't know. I, I just don't even believe that that's it. I think it's something else. But when I took it up here to this Midas, they, they put the thing on there and said that it was that. Then they said that it's something else. And... You know, I don't know. I just don't know. So I'm just going to have to wait. He was supposed to come back last night, and he had five cars to work on. So he just couldn't get to me. And then he was going to put some brakes on one car and come up and see me. But it was getting late. And then it started raining. So y'all, again, back on here again, saying, just pray for me that, um, that this just <sighs> that, I don't know I just don't know I just had a really bad day yesterday as you all know if you all looked at that video from Monday you know the situation with Chris you know that bothers me to the max you know um, it really, really just bothered me. You know, it just really, really, it just really bothers me. And I'm trying to just release that. And, you know, I just feel like that just should not have even happened. None of it should have happened. None of it should have happened with um, him, you know, wanting to see him and then not coming through and then the mom the situation with his mom you know it just you know he kicked this whole shit off just to disappoint this boy all over again and it is just bothering me and it's nothing that I can do about it you know what I'm saying and it's a hard it's a hard it's it's hard to it's just hard to um it's hard to get past this because I just want to just knock the fuck out of him for real. And I know he, before you all say, oh, he ain't worth it. I know he not. But you know what? It's just like leave him alone. You know, if you don't really want to be in his life, just leave this boy alone. You know, let, let, you know, my girlfriend was saying last night, she was like, you know, Chris just got to get past it. And I said, he does. But when you're when you have never seen somebody that you know is alive and well and nothing is wrong with them, they not in jail, they not in a, a, a facility where they can't walk or they they, they they incapacitated and he's walking around living his best life, laid up with his woman. I don't care what he do. You know what I'm saying? Do your thing. But when you know that your father is alive and well and nothing is physically wrong with him, nothing is wrong with him, you know what I'm saying? It's like, it's like, as a kid, I can just, I, you know, it's hard for us to process things as adults and we're grown. But when you're 16 and you don't really understand about the world, I'm sorry, y'all. Y'all don't you don't really understand about the world when you don't really understand how to process things or your feelings or whatever. I, I'm a, I can only imagine that that's difficult for him, you know. And so it's easy for us to say, "Oh, Chris, just get past it." Oh, you know, Chris, just you know, go on, you know, with life or whatever. There's a big chunk of his life missing and he's the missing puzzle to his life, you know, and and so 
you know, he done missed the puzzle. And 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 that, it, it bothers me. It bothers me a lot. And it bothers him, you know. And it's like, there's no reason. There's no reason for you not to be in this life. There's no reason. I don't care if you don't like me or you can't stand me. I don't like you either. But, you know, I, I haven't stopped being a parent. I haven't stopped loving my child because of you. You know, I'm a parent. Regardless of who I had a child by, I'm still a parent. I still have a child to parent. I still, he's only 16. He's got a lot more guidance that he needs. He's 16. You know, I'm 54 and I need guidance on, on things. You know what I'm saying? I need guidance, but I know how to deal with my emotions because I've had things to happen in my life. He ain't had that. You know, um, so I'm just pissed about it. I, I'm not as pissed. I'm not as upset. Yesterday, I just cried all day long. You know, I just cried all day. And I just, I'm frustrated. I'm so frustrated right now. You know, I'm just so frustrated. You know, Chicago. It's getting darker and darker. So I'm going to get out of this car and go in to work. It's only 654. But I'm going to go in because it's getting ready to rain and I don't want to get caught in the rain. But I thank you all. Um, I'm just I'm just in a real funk. But um, I'll be back tomorrow, okay? All right, y'all have a good day. Okay, bye-bye. Hey, y'all, I'm back. So, I came back to add this to the video because 
um, the mechanic came to my job to, um, after I got off work, he met me at my job and he tell me what he think is wrong with the car. So I need a pedal throttle. So we called an auto uh, store to see if they had it. That thing costs $200. So, he said that I need a tune-up. I need coils and spark plugs. I need an oil change. And I need front brakes. So. And then I have to pay him for doing the work. I got about all the parts. So, when it's all said and done, it's probably going to be like about five or six hundred dollars or seven hundred dollars probably. So, I told him, I said, um, I'm going to Putacana in July. I said, Nang, I just, you know, it's going to have to be after I come back or either before I leave, I'll get it done. Um, but I told him, it's got to be after the housewarming party. Because I got to wait to get this money from my job. And I was trying to hold on to that money. You know, to have money to go on my trip. I just can't, I just, I just feel like I can't get ahead. You know what I'm saying? And I know that that's part of life, right? That's part of life. That's part of... That's part of being, um, just part of being an adult, you know, uh, where we just all have, you know, we have bills. So, I'm going to drive the car until I can get the money to get it fixed. Oh, excuse me so um yeah I just so I just told him just to wait until after um just to wait to after you know after um I, I feel like this is what I feel like and this is my own fault Okay, so I feel like I stretch myself too thin. And what I mean by that is I bought the house. I'm going on a trip. I'm doing a housewarming party. You know, I just did too much all in one time. Buying the house, I was gonna do that anyway. Going on the trip, but the time at the time that I put my deposit down for the trip, I hadn't found a house nor had I closed on a house. Okay. Um, so, so that, so, you know, I had already put my deposit down. Maybe I, I didn't want to wait to do a, do a housewarming party too late because my mother was like, you should have did it in the fall. No, because people's kids are going back to college going back to school, they trying to get people get their kids ready for school, and people gonna say I can't come, or are they gonna be not gonna give a gift not, to, not that I'm saying that you know, I want them to bring me a gift, but you know and for me too, you know, money is just, you know tight right around that time you know, so I didn't want to wait till August because most of the kids are going back to school in August here in Chicago most of the kids, people going, kids are going to college. And so a lot of people are taking their kids back to college in August. You know what I'm saying? And they wouldn't be able, nobody would be able to come. A lot of people wouldn't be able to come. I didn't want to do it um, uh, in July because um, July 4th, you know, weekend, July 4th, didn't want to do it then. People seem to be gone a lot in July. So that's why I picked the last Saturday in June. I thought that that would be the perfect time to do it. And I didn't want to wait till next year to do it because that's just too far out to have a housewarming party. 
So I just got a lot of uh, things, you know, a lot of fuel, a lot of stuff burning, you know, a lot of stuff, a lot of stuff going on, you know, all at the same time, you know, all at the same time. And now the car. And I'm just like, this is the worst freaking time for this car to decide that it wants to have repairs done on it while I'm trying to do the trip, the housewarming party, you know? Oh, Lord have mercy, Jesus. It's just too much. <sighs> so, anywho. Too much going on all at the same time um, so this morning when I did this came on and did the video you know um, I just was feeling extremely stressed out <sighs> extremely one of my girlfriends who now this is another thing about this trip now originally when I had planned to go on this trip with my sister you know it's her my sister's yesterday my sister 40 years ago graduated on June 24 uh, 1984 and uh, she's been out of high school 40 years I've been out of high school 35 years my 35th reunion was last year but anywho, when I originally decided to go on this trip with her class for the reunion for her reunion, I originally was gonna be in the room by myself, okay? But um I ended up getting a roommate, one of my classmates, and she and I was gonna roam. Okay, so in the midst of that, another classmate, husband, I don't know what's going on with them. I don't know if he had to work or something, but in the midst of that, she just he decides that he's not going. So in the midst of him deciding that he's not going on the trip, um, in the midst of all that, she didn't have a roommate. So my other classmate, who I originally was gonna be in the room with, asked me, could this other young lady be in the roommate room with us? And you know, I'm just gonna be honest with y'all. I have gotten to the point in my life as as I have gotten older when I vacation. I really, really, really do not like sharing a room with folks. Okay? Both of these young ladies that I'm sharing a room with, I love them dearly. I love them both. And I hope that when we come back, we are still friends. Because you're talking about three women and one bathroom. Because I originally told her no. But then I felt so bad because I like this, this young lady. I really like her. And I was like, okay, all right. She can stay in the room. And she said, well, me and her will sleep in the bed and we'll let you have your own you know we'll let you have the other bed to yourself i don't know i don't know how that's gonna work i hope we gonna be i hope we are friends when it's when it's all said and done
friends. Because it's hard enough to be in a room with another person, let alone two people. And the last time I went on vacation, I went to Cabo, Mexico with my girlfriend who was running a marathon. We decided that we were not going to room together. And guess what? I was okay with that. I was not offended. She said, I don't really like, like rooming with anybody. I said, no problem. No problem. When I tell you that was the best vacation, never had I been on a vacation where I did not, that I was not in a room by myself. I was, I would always be in a room with my mom and Chris, or was in the room. One time we went on a cruise. It was me, my mama. At that time, I didn't have Christopher. Me, my mama, my sister, and my sister's two kids. That was the worst. It, you know, if you ever been on a cruise, you all know them rooms are really tiny. We managed to keep it neat and clean. We found little corners to put our suitcases and hung our stuff. But it was too, baby. Mm-mm. 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 It was too much. It was too much. And I said after that, never again. So since then, when I've gone on cruises or vacations, uh, my sister and I went to Myrtle Beach. You all saw that video. She had her own room. I had my own room. She had her own bathroom. I had my own bathroom. Bathroom. Um, it was perfect because we didn't have to be in the you know in the same room together. Um. I'm a very light sleeper. Every little thing wakes me up. So I just, you know, I don't know. I know that I snore. And I hope I don't keep nobody awake. And that's why I say I like being in a room by myself. And I tried to get a room by myself. I tried. didn't work out that way but I, I don't care I'm going to tell you this I don't care how much it costs the next time I go on vacation I'm getting my own room I want to take I want to be able to be in the bathroom as long as I want to be in the bathroom I don't want to have to share a shower I don't want to have to share a bathroom I don't want to do none of that what is going on right here I don't want to share nothing with nobody. You know. Um, I just don't. I just don't want to share a bathroom and a room with anybody. And people will say, oh, that's being mean. That's being selfish. No, that's being smart. That's being comfortable. And I have to listen to nobody else snark, snark, uh, snore or fart or belch. Real talk. Even when it, even me included you know um I'm just saying I'm just saying so I don't know I don't know how this is gonna work I don't know how we are going to do with all three of us uh, being in the same room. I just don't know what that's going to be like. I don't know. So y'all pray my strength in the Lord. 
Grandmaster Inn. So, again, I feel like I just got too many, too, too much going on, you know, too much. And the car, I just didn't need the added stress with the car. But now I know what I need. Now I know what what is wrong. And so now I know what I got to do, you know. So I know it's the spark plugs, the coils, the pedal uh, throttle sensor. I know it's um, and the front brakes, you know. But I'm just trying to figure out why does the pedal throttle sensor cost so goddamn much? Why? That's what I'm trying to figure out. $215 for that? Why? Can somebody please tell me why? Tell me why? <sighs> and I got to get this done because uh, I have to have an emissions test done um, before I can buy the uh, plate sticker. And my place sticker expires at the end of September. And in order to get the place sticker, you got to pass the admissions test. If you don't pass the admissions test, then you can't get the, um, the uh, place sticker. And then you'll get pulled over, and then you'll get a ticket, and so forth and so on. And the beat goes on. You understand what I'm saying? And then this girl, she parks across the street. She parks her car right here. That makes it so easy, to, so hard to make this turn up in the driveway. <sighs> okay. And then this idiot that's over here uh, visiting my mother's neighbor, instead of him pulling his car down the opposite way, he got his car facing this way. I just had a moment to come back. Normally, I'd be on the phone with my good girlfriend, but she didn't answer. So I said, well, let me come back on here. Look at him. He always speaks. But I said, when I say he's an idiot, he's an idiot. First of all, you ain't even supposed to be parked on this side of the street, heading in the opposite direction. If you're going to park going that way, you're supposed to be parked on that side of the street, not on this side of the street. <sighs> anywho, anywho, anyhow. I'm um, going to get ready to get off of here. go and I will see you all tomorrow what's tomorrow the 26th yep is it tomorrow the 26th maybe yeah the 26th cause Thursday 27th 20, yeah cause the party is Saturday yeah the 29th I was trying to think what day is it tomorrow 
And I also want to tell you all, I had a long talk with my friend. A long, long talk. A long talk with him. And I, th I feel as if he really heard me this time. I feel as if he really got what I was saying. I really do. He really, really, he really, really listened to me. And he said, I, un I, I, I understand. I really think he got it. And said a lot of things I said to him he said I understand understood understand understood understand I think he got it I think he finally got it and so we are just going to be friends um, and we are going to just try to work our way just back to being friends without the, inti the intimate part of it, but just learning about each other. And I think, and I feel, and I told him, I said, I feel like we did not really, we let sex get in the way of us really learning each other or really finding out who each other is because you are not who you were in high school 35 years ago and I'm not either. You a grown man, I'm a grown woman. Oh, it's so hot y'all outside. What the car say? 87, but it's human. I said, you a grown man and I'm a grown woman and there's so many things about you that I don't know about. There's so many things about you, about me that you don't know about, you know. And um, you know, we really, we really, I told myself, we really, in order for us to just be good friends, we have to learn how to be friends. And we did not, if y'all hear in the background, you all, that's because it's hot and <laughs> looking at this cat, this cat and went over there and laid on these people's porch. And roll it all around, all laid on, out on their packages. <laughs> um, they packages gonna smell like cat. Anyway, um, as it should, cause they nasty over here too, and they won't know the difference. But we just decided that we were going to be friends and learn about each other and really learn how to be friends and a lot of times you can mess things up I, I, I've always said this and I will say it sex is wonderful sex is good and it feels good but it messes up a whole lot of shit it messes up a whole lot of shit you know what I mean and that's why you really got to take your time jump in before you jump into bed with somebody you really need to learn of a person because once you give your body that's it that's it that's it it's nothing else to give honestly it's nothing else to give this is from the man and the woman not just for the woman you know women say i gave him my body and i can't get that back well he gave you his body and he can't get that back either you know, and I know that it's different for men and women. I know that it's it's a different connotation. Like I told him, you're entering me. You're entering my body. So of course, I'm taking, I'm I'm receiving you. You're not receiving me. I'm receiving you. So of course, I feel different. Of course, we feel different. Of course. Because you all, you all don't men don't understand that they don't understand because they've never been penetrated okay they never been a woman had a woman does not penetrate into them you men penetrate into us they go into us so a, a lot of a lot of things 
when a man come, goes into you and he gives you his 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 portion of what comes from him you deposit that you deposit that okay you deposit that you deposit that not just from the actual fluid from him but you deposit everything in regards to him you deposit his spirit you deposit his 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 um uh, his uh his vibe, you deposit his aura, you deposit, you deposit everything. And so this is why for women, it is hard for us to let go of a man. Okay, it's hard for us to let go. And I, I have explained this to men, and some men get it, and some men still act like they don't get it or they don't get it. But for women, it is not that easy. It is not that easy because we really become a soul tie. We really, excuse me, it's not so much even a soul tie. It's, it's, it's a, this is why the Bible says the two shall become one. Because this is why sex is for married folks. It's for married folks. Now, and some of y'all going to get on here saying, CC, shut up. Because I want to do me. Do you. There is no judgment here. But what I'm saying is, is that, because I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a fornicator too, okay? So, ain't no way I can judge you. Because if, if I point a finger at you, I'm pointing one right back at me. I mean, that's real talk, okay? I know the word of God. I've been in church all my life. I know fornication is a sin. Some people will not believe that it is, but it is. It is. And the reason why it's a sin is because it's not meant for single folk. It's not. It's not meant for single folks. It's meant for married people because of the bond, because of the closeness, because of the, the tie that you have with that person. And what we as single people do that have sex, we tie ourselves to some one and then when that shit is over you still tied you still caught up you still wrapped up you still tangled up in it and you still you all like this it's for married folks it's for married folks i'm gonna say it again it's for married folks because it's a covenant between two people it's a covenant Sex is, is, is meant for the married people because of the covenant, because of the bond. And so what I said to him today, I said, I'm not the type of woman. You, uh, he always says to me, you know, he said, Yo, when your feelings change, I change. He said, you call feelings. I said, you didn't catch no feelings? Now, I know what he meant, okay? Because he's right. Because my feelings are going to always be different than how he feel. Absolutely. Again. He's he's got the thing that has entered into my body. I don't have nothing to enter into him. I don't have nothing to give him the way that he given it to me. So I said, so but what I do know is that men will have sex with you and they feel something for you too. There, you know, there's a lot of men that sleep with women. They have a whole bunch of women. They just humping, 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 humping. Just just, you know, just giving everybody the 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 the, the seed, right? But He's not like that. He's not like that. Now he probably been a hoe at some point in his life, like like most of us, me included, you know. But he always says that he's selective, and I am very selective. And so what I said to him was, I said, and this is what I want to say to you all: if you are making love to a person or been making love to a person for the last six nine months, you cannot tell me that you ain't caught something for them. Especially if y'all are getting together on a regular. And also, it, see, there's a difference between going to somebody's house and just bumping, right? You can go to somebody's house, been there, done that. You can go to somebody's house and bump, 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 and y'all get it, y'all, he get his, you get yours, and then you go wash your ass, he go wash his dick, and then y'all leave, and y'all going back to, I'll call you next week. Okay, call me. Because we know we, baby, that was good. 
We gonna get together again and do that again. Then you get on the phone with your girl. Girl! Baby, he laid it down. He laid it down. Right? But the difference is, is when you go and you bump, bump, bump. And then you ain't just bumping, but now you caressing and you kissing and you making slow moves and slow strokes. And he turned, oh, I'm getting myself hot. And then you grinding and then you turning and, and, and he moving his hips and he moving it in a circle. Oh, child. And he moving it in a circle and he moving it in a circle. And, you know, he just caressing you. And that's making love. And when a person at the youth, so so y'all have started out bump, 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 and now it's going slow. And now y'all rocking, and y'all rolling, and y'all swaying, and y'all kissing, and y'all, he's all on your neck, and you all on his neck, and you rubbing his head, and he looking into your eyes, and he kissing you, and he kissing you, and then he's holding you, and he's caressing you, and you holding him, and you caressing him, and then when it's over with, y'all lay there. And then y'all cuddle some more. And then y'all kiss some more. And then y'all go, oh, Lord, that was so good. Oh, yes, it was. Then y'all roll over and y'all go to sleep. Then when the nap is over, y'all do it again and again. Now you have surpassed just fucking. Because now y'all pillow talking. He telling you this. And you telling him. So, you got to know the difference between when you bump, 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 and when you bumping and you making love. Because you can bump and make love at the same time. And a man who know how to bump and make love, at the, make know how to bump, 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 and make love, that's the man you want. Because who, especially if it's a man you like. Because who wants to just bump, 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 and never had the experience of being made love to. See, I can bump, bump, bump with somebody and go home. Especially if I don't really like you. You know, I just wanted to go and get me some because I need to get, I need to, you know, have this uh, itch scratched. And now that I got the itch scratched, I, I'm good for another month or two before I want that scratched again. You understand what I'm saying? So, it takes on a whole nother effect, a whole nother level when you are holding and caressing in the boat. Rock the boat, rock the boat, rock the boat. Get yeah, the middle, do the middle. You know what I'm saying? You doing all of this. You rolling and everything. You know what I'm saying? So it's a difference. And that's kind of how it was. And so for women, men, I always tell men this. You can't make love to every woman the same way. Because some men will just bump, bump, bump. And that's all you're going to get. It's just. And then they bust. And then you like, the fuck was that shit? But that's how some men are. It ain't about you. It ain't about you getting yours. They just want a nut. And that's it. But then you have some men that they want a nut, but they want to make sure you ain't got a couple of them. That's a man who care about your sex and what you're getting and being pleasing and satisfying to you. So that now they're, they're not they're not just bump, bump, bumping with you. They taking all of you into consideration when it comes to that intimate part of your relationship. And so there's a difference between bump, bump, bump and bump, 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 make love and intimacy. See, that, that, those, those three are all different things. Bump, 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 making love, and intimacy. And if y'all are doing all three of those, some feelings of motherfucker involved. Come on here. So you got the nerve to set up in my face and tell me, oh, you caught feelings. Your feelings got involved. What? God. What? Then why in the hell did you just bump, 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 bump and get your nut and bust and go the fuck home? Go wash your dick off and go the motherfucking home. What the fuck is you laying here up in my motherfucking neck, up in my motherfucking chest, holding me and pillow talking with me and talking about you ready for round two? Get the fuck on. Get the fuck on. 
So you can't say to me, you call feelings when you and did you doing everything to make me catch these motherfuckers for you. Yeah, I call feelings. Yeah, I'm catching them. I'm catching them as we. Yeah. That's real talk. So I tell men all the time, be careful. Be careful. Because if you ain't trying to have nothing with her, if you ain't trying to really be with her, then you need to go over there and bump, 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 get your nut and get your dick up. Get up, go wash your dick, put it in the sink, flash some water on it, put the motherfucker in your drawers and go the fuck on. Don't be laying up in there. Go home. Because we can't handle that. And it's and, and let me let me rephrase that. It's not so much that we can't handle it. It's just that it's a it, it, it's it doesn't mean that you're where we are, and we understand that because y'all are slow anyway. But that's not what the, that's not what that means. But what but for us, we take that to heart. For us, we like, man, you know. I feel like the love make, making was special. I, I know that I, I know I got me some, but I also know that I just wasn't fucked. Okay. And what I told him a long time ago was that I don't want to be another notch on your belt and make it mean something. Don't make me feel like I'm just, you know, another bitch that you fucking on. Don't make me feel like that. You know, because I take my sex seriously when I decide to give it to you. So this is, don't take it and play with it. Okay? Don't play with me. Don't play with my emotions. You know, I need to know you care about me. At the same time, you ain't got to be my dude. You ain't got to be my man. But if I'm bumping and bump, bump, bump with you on a, on a regular basis and making love to you and having intimacy with you, I need to be treated such in such a way. So I think I'm almost 99.9 percent he got it that he understood what I was talking about okay um and a lot of times men just don't understand and this is what I want to say to men stop thinking that we operate like you do when it comes to sex because we don't we don't but here's what I also want to say to you. Women can fuck you and get up and leave and act like we don't never know you. We can do it just like you do it. But you got to, but, but, but because you all are the ones that pursue the most and chase pussy the most, you got to decide what this, how you going to fuck this woman or how you going to, how you going to have sex with this woman, how you going to lay with this woman. You know, don't lay with her like in, in a special way and then think that she just think that, you know, that she not going to have some type of feelings or some type of something because that's not how that goes. And this is why I'm going to go back to my original statement. Sex ain't for single folks. Sex ain't for single folks. Sex is for married people. And you may be on here going, bullshit. I don't know what CC talking about. Shit. I'm getting me some dick or some coochie later. And um, I don't give a fuck about him. And I, don't, I understand. I get it. Because if you are on that mindset that you can do that, that you can have sex and not have no feelings or have sex and know that it's just that. And it's no connection with you all. Then that's fine. You know. Some people can't really really do that. I have. And I can. But that's not how this went. This, that's, 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 that's not how this went. So. The way it was supposed to go. Was bump bump bump. But it didn't go like that. You know what I'm saying? It didn't go like that. It didn't. Because of the simple the simple fact, and I'll tell you why it didn't go like that. Because he liked me. And I liked him. 
So because I liked him and he liked me, and he said he had a crush on me in high school and I had a crush on him. And we was two people that was crushing. And we was two people that had some fantasies about each other. It wasn't just a bump, bump, bump. And because it wasn't a bump, 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 I felt hurt and neglected. And I felt, and I told him, I said, I felt alone. I felt very alone. Wasn't that I looked at you as my man, but I wanted you to be there for me in a special type of way because I knew that what we was doing wasn't just a bump, bump, bump. And so when it's not that, and when you know that it's something else and you feel it's something else and you feel it in your heart, it takes on a whole different it takes on a whole different thing so we got to be friends and we got to learn of each other and we got to learn about one another before we can go any further with one another because we really don't know each other as well as we thought we did and we really didn't take the time to really learn of each other because we was too busy bump bump bumping and making love and having intimacy and that ain't his fault and it ain't my fault we just did it the wrong way we did it the wrong way and i didn't understand him and he didn't understand me because he felt like well, you know, we just, we doing this and, but you, you, you want me, you got all, you, you putting all these obligations on me. And that wasn't putting obligations, but like I told him, you didn't, you weren't showing me that you cared about me. I said, I don't know what you, I don't know how you show. I don't know how you show that you care about somebody versus me. And I guess because I never really said to him, you know, I need you to do this because see, I never was trying to put the obligation or the demands there. I just want, I just, I told him, I said, I want to be able to call you when I really need you. And he said, I want to be there for you. I want, I want to be there if you need me. He said, but I may not always, I, um, I'm a, I'm, I may not always be able to be. I understand that. I get that. But the most important part of my life, you wasn't there for me. You know, you wasn't there for me. I don't know, I don't know where his hand was. He just... He just was not, he just, he just wasn't there for me, you know? And I told him, I said, it just hurt really, really bad, you know? So he, he said he was sorry again. And he said, I, he said, you know, he said, I still, I don't really think he, he said to me, he said, I don't, I understand what you're saying now. He said, I do. He said, but at the time, I, he said, I just, you know, he was like, I just, I just didn't think, you know, and I guess because, you know, I wasn't cussing him out. I wasn't going off on him, you know, nothing like that. You know, I wasn't doing that. I pretty much left him alone. But like I said, so my mom would text him. So anyway, um, we just got to, we, we got to, we, so we just said we, 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 well, we're going to take things day by day and we just going to get to know each other all over again. And what this time we going to get to know each other as who we are, who each other, who each other is and not put sex in our friendship. And I think that will be much better for me as well as for him. So uh, I was really glad that we did all of this through text because he was at work and I was at work and I couldn't really talk on the phone because I was doing something. He couldn't talk. So every once in a while we would just text. So we did text. And he said, I'm going to get over there. I don't know if he comes to the house one probably not. I ain't even bring it up. 
He said, but we gonna sit down. He said, I'm gonna come over there. And he said, or oh, you come over here. He said, we gonna sit down face to face and 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 get get to talk about some things. He said, what we what we talked about today, we gonna go through this again. He said, cause I really don't want you to feel hurt by anything that I've done. And he said, if I, I understand, I really understand it now. I really get why you're so hurt and why you were so hurt. So I appreciated him being, I appreciated him saying to me that he finally got it. You know, um, I just wanted him to see it from my perspective, you know. So, um, you know, I told him, I said, I know you you really don't really don't want no serious, serious relationship. He is still at Dr. Glenn's house. He going to the gym. I still gotta go get him. He wanna go to the gym with him. With him. I would say, unless he gonna take him home. Yeah, probably. So I don't know. I don't know what you wanna do. <laughs> I, well, I want a hamburger. Oh, okay. Just cook him a ham. Just cook him one. You ain't gotta cook him two. Yeah, just cook him one. Cause he had Culver's already. Yeah. Um. So. I felt like. I felt. I felt as if. I felt better. After I talked to him. I felt like he really understood. Where I was coming from. You know. He ain't a bad guy. But he like a lot of men. Just fucking slow. And I don't mean like slow, like, you know, like he's slow, like he ain't, like he retarded, not intelligent slow, but just, just don't get, just don't get it. You know what I'm saying? Um, men are so different than us and women and women are so different than men and this is what I always say if there was one thing that I could ask God I would say why did you make us for each other and we don't like each other why did you make us for each other and we don't understand each other at all why did you why did you why did you make them like that and why did you make us like this you know what I'm saying why Cause, cause we, cause men and women just always, 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 any, 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 you know, marriages don't last. People can't stay married. Um, uh, relationships don't last. I mean, we just always, you know, and that's why when I see people whose marriages have lasted 40 and 50 years, like my mom and daddy, now I know they used to have some, you know, but they never left each other. They never left each other. They were married to death, do them part. Until my daddy died. My mom and daddy was still married. And it's so many couples that are my mom's age that are still married or the spouse, one of the spouses that he's a husband or wife or whatever. But then I have some friends that's been married 30 years or so. And they seem like they still in love, you know, so we know it's possible. We know that it's possible, but I don't know. I just don't know. Um, I don't know. It's just, we just different. We, we just different from each other. You know, we just different. Anyway. And this guy over here living next to my mom let me tell y'all something. This girl came out the other night. He came over and asked me, did my mama see anything on her ring camera? He's still taking pictures of this car. He's still taking pictures. He's a cute guy. This girl came and told his shit up. Bust the car windows. 
hit the car with a bat. And he came up here asking my mama's ring camera to pick up anything. So I said, well, I'll go ask her. So my mother said no. So whoever came over here, they had on all black and a ski mask, but it was a girl. Told his shit up. He ain't been able to move this car all the time. The tires are slashed. Stop playing with these goddamn women. You need to stop playing. Now, I'm going to tell you something. That's something that I ain't never, ever, ever, ever did. I ain't never busted out a man's car when just wanted to, but didn't. But see, I don't want to really fuck your car, but I don't want to fuck you up. I want to stab you in your chest and see the blood come out your stomach. I don't want to you know, fuck I know how men are about their car. I do know that. You know, they'll kill a bitch over their car. You can say their mama is a bald-headed scallywag and they won't give a damn fuck with their car. They'll never fuck with you again. You say their mama is ugly and a bitch, they still keep messing with you. You fuck up their car, they will kill your ass. Okay? They will kill your ass. And honey, she put all four of these bitches on flat. And he out here taking pictures. He still, he was out here yesterday taking pictures. I don't know what all she did to the car, but baby, baby, she look like she scratched it up. The mirror is broke. He's still taking pictures. He was out here taking pictures of the other day. Why are you taking pictures of the same thing? Shit ain't gonna go away. It's gonna cost him a lot of money to get that car fixed. But see, I've never been that. I have never, ever, ever. Let me tell you something. I, I dealt with too many men who had uh, past uh, uh, jail uh, records. I wasn't willing to die over fucking up nobody's car. Mm-mm. Nah. Most of the men I dated was used to be in gangs and did all kinds of shit. You know, they been in jail two or three times for some bullshit. I'm not down because fucking up your car. Fuck that. I'll leave your ass alone. I'll leave you alone because I want my life. I want my life because a man will kill your ass for fucking with his car. You can fuck with anything else. You can go in and break a window out. You can go in and tear up his clothes. Fuck with his car. Shit. You are you you got you got to be the kind of woman that ain't scared to lose your life when you go fucking with a man's car. You gotta be. You gotta be a bad bitch. You gotta be so bad that you like, I'm willing to die. I knew the kind of man I was dealing with. I wasn't fucking up their car. I got him another way, but it wasn't through their car. Cause I wouldn't be on this video right now talking to some talking to you all right now if I had fucked up a man's car. Not the kind of man I was dealing with. I didn't deal with soft men. I dealt with hood, swagalicious men. You know what I'm saying? Mm-mm. But you all, I'm gonna let you go. I've been on here too long. Um, but I appreciate you looking at this video. God bless each and every last one of you all. You all have a good, good, good day. Um, thank you all so very much um, for um, your patience and, you know, with me doing these videos. I appreciate you all oh, oh so much. Please watch that She in Dress Hall video. It's it's dragging, y'all. It's dragging now. Come on now. Come on. Come on. I need a thousand views on that video. I remember I used to get four, five thousand, six, seven, eight, nine thousand. And then why this dumb motherfucker ask me on OnlyFans? How come you don't get naked in your videos no more? Sir, 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 sir. What goddamn account you looking at? Because I ain't never been naked in none of my videos on OnlyFans or on YouTube. Naked? Naked? I said, you got the wrong account because I've never been naked in my videos. In my OnlyFans videos, those of you that are on this platform that's over there, y'all know I do not get naked. I wear a thong. You see a lot of ass cheeks. I've had on some lingerie where you can see my breasts, even see maybe the nipple. But I ain't never been naked, butt naked, butt asshole naked. I don't know where you got that from. You got me fucked up and you got me, I'm, I'm the wrong one. Anyway. Anyway, people just do the most. Anyway, 
My mama said she gonna make me a steak. Child, them steaks is good. She get them from um, QVC, I think. So I'm gonna go ahead and eat a steak. I gotta pick Chris up at 7.30. It's 4.47 now. All right, so y'all have a good day. Yeah. I know she like, bitch, if you don't get out that phone. So I'm getting ready to go, y'all. Y'all have a good day. Have a good afternoon. Have a good evening. God bless you. I love you. And I'll see you in the next CC's Fashion is My Passion YouTube video. Go watch that she in dress all. Okay. Bye.